Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Let's continue on Java coding interview questions. In this session, let's take a look how we can decode a string. Before we do the code, let's take a look at the test cases. So we have this in, uh, encoded string. The number represents the times we are going to repeat for the strings within the square bracket here. And we also might have embedded square bracket inside. And for the one without a number and bracket, so means we are going to just re, uh, just put their string there one time. So we don't have to put a number and uh, a square bracket for it. Let's take a look at our code. First, we are going to create this string builder. This one is going to hold on the result for the current output string. We have the index here. This is the times we are going to repeat for, for the string inside of the square bracket. So first, we are going to check the index with the length of the string and get the letters one by one. If it's a zero, it's a, it's a number, we are going to work out the times. So it might have uh, two digits or three digits or more digits of number. So we work out the number by do, uh, doing this. We may get the times out. This branch is going to find out the substring within the uh, square bracket. So we find the, the index just after the, the first, uh, the open square bracket. Then we use the count. The count uh, means we are going to repeat that square, get the square bracket. And we use the condition one is whether index is end of the string or not. The count is bigger than zero. Then we continue until the count is zero. Because the first one is the start, we make the count equal 1. So when we meet the second close, we should make it 0 by a minus uh, that count by 1. So in the middle, we might have uh, embedded square bracket. By doing this, we are able to pass this square bracket and reach to the last close bracket for this one. Then at this stage, we get the substring out, then pass this substring to the function itself because we have to deal with the embedded square bracket. So after we get the result, then we are going to repeat that string these times. This branch is going to deal with the string like this, without any bracket, without any number. We just append that letter to this string builder. At the end, we just return the result. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you next time.